Hey guys, what's up? My name is Dee and welcome back to a new Costco Canada haul. In today's video, I'm sharing my weekly haul for my family of four. So here's everything I picked up this week. I'll start over here with the doggy treats. I picked up a bag of these beef tender sticks. This is for T-Bone. He loves this. It's his bedtime snack and it lasts us a pretty long time, maybe about like one or two months. So I'm gonna check for a sale on this in the upcoming weeks because I'd love to get a price adjustment on that if it happens to go on sale. Next up, I grabbed some Coscados. They were really expensive this week, but I really wanted to have some. It's a really good fat to add to your meals. And honestly, I just love Coscados, so I took the splurge and got it anyway. Let's hope this goes a little bit cheaper soon because $10.99 is too much. So let's speak it into existence that this price goes back to $8.99, preferably $7.99. $10.99 is just too much. But these Coscados are way too good to pass up. So grab some of those. I also stocked up on the last of the Procter & Gamble sales that I wanted to get. So I can go ahead and get another $25 digital shop card. So let me show you the P&G products that I picked up this time. I grabbed some Dove Bar Soap. I like the original scent. It smells really fresh and clean. And Dove is like the only soap that we use for our bodies because it just works really well for sensitive skin and it doesn't dry out the skin, but it also gives it a good clean. So I went ahead and got some of these. There's 16 bars that come in the pack. They also have the sensitive one that's on sale as well. But again, I like the original. Sometimes I do get the sensitive, but I like the smell of the original because the sensitive is non-scented. I think it's like fragrance free. So I like this one because I like the fresh scent. And next up, I grab some Lysol wipes. These are good to just have in every area of your home. You never know when you need to do a quick clean. And I find that these Lysol wipes are just super easy to transport between places and they last a really long time. So I shouldn't have to get this again until the next time a sale comes around because I only buy it when it's on sale and I needed some. We were running low. So I went ahead and grabbed some more of that. I also picked up some Crest toothpaste. This is the one that we like to get. There was a sale and I was waiting on the sale to go ahead and pick up some more. So we actually, I think, have one tube left and I'm happy that I got that. So this will last us for a few months. I also picked up some more Dawn dish soap. This is good for dishes. I just refill my smaller bottle that I have by my sink. And even though we use our dishwasher for most things, we do use dish soap for a lot of other things. So I went ahead and grabbed that while the sale was on for that one too. Next up, I grabbed two packages of the Tide Hygienic Clean Pods. This is my favorite laundry pod. I was struggling to pick that up because I got a comment recently where someone was like they want to see the packaging much better. <laughs> so I'm trying to help that person who left that comment see things a little bit better. But anyways, these laundry pods are so good. They do a really good job with cleaning. It has a really fresh scent and the Hygienic Clean, I swear, I swear it does something to the clothes that gets it much cleaner than like regular laundry pods. So I stocked up on two of these and I should have that for about six months, hopefully three months. We'll see what it works out to be, but I went ahead and grabbed two so I can go ahead and again, earn that $25 shop card. And I also picked up this Swiffer dry and wet set. We already have one of these. But I wanted to get another one because we need another one of the, like this part. The main part, <laughs> we have one that we use for wet and dry, just like it says. And we have the refills for both. But we need another one of these because taking it up and down the stairs, sometimes we don't even know where we put it. And then you got to wait until someone finds it to get it. So now we'll have one for each floor. And this will be good, just good to have. So the sale was really good on this one and I highly recommend you getting it. If you have a dog who sheds, the Swiffer Dry does a much better job than a broom and a much better job than a vacuum because it kind of traps everything into the cloth and it just does a really, really good job. So that's why we go for the Swiffer products right now because life with T-Bone, there's a lot of shedding and we just need that to help combat the shedding a little bit. Now moving over here into the food related items, I did go ahead and pick up more tortillas. These are the ones that we like. They're like keto tortillas. I like them because they're smaller in size 
And lately when we do taco night, I've just been folding them over in half and kind of squishing it down to make the shape of a taco, but it doesn't have the mess of a crunchy taco shell. So you can go ahead and kind of like warm these up in a pan, which is my favorite way to do it. So it almost kind of looks like a quesadilla. Or you can even just have it cold, breakfast wrap or anything like that. But this is just one of our favorite things to get. I like it because of the size and it's just really, really good tasting. So I find some tortillas, I don't actually like the taste. But this one, I do like the taste. So I went ahead and grabbed some more. We're doing tacos again this month. And speaking of tacos, I got more organic ground beef. Love these because there's three that come in the pack. It is pretty pricey. It is getting really expensive, but... I swear the texture of this ground beef is better than the non-organic one and I'm a texture person so I opt to get this instead because I can't enjoy it if the texture is off and this I feel like the texture is spot on plus it's actually really good tasting and sometimes I'll split the package in half for one pasta meal and then this will last for six meals instead of three. But for taco night, I definitely have to do one whole one because that's what our family goes through. As a family of four, you just need a little bit more meat for taco nights. But for pasta nights, I can actually get away with making this half and letting this stretch a little bit more. So that's a quick tip if you're trying to save a little bit money on organic ground beef. Just split the package in half, add mushrooms or other veggies or whatever you like to bulk it out a little bit more. Um, but that's just like my tip for you. Love this and that's what I do with it. I also picked up two bunches of my organic bananas. Apparently April is like banana month or something like that. So we always get bananas nonetheless. But I just learned that in the Costco magazine for April there was like a feature on bananas. And so if you are interested in why I get organic bananas instead of regular, I personally feel that there's a taste difference and I'm all for the quality with a banana. I cannot eat a banana if it feels like or tastes grainy. Um, and I also don't like it when it gets too many brown spots. So I find that the organic bananas are always much better in terms of texture. And I also find that even when they do get the brown spots, I can actually still eat it because the texture is not like really mushy. And that's what I like about these bananas. Even T-Bone eats organic bananas. He's a spoiled puppy. <laughs> so we went ahead and grabbed two bunches for the week. I also picked up some organic 2% milk. This is a normal thing that we get almost every other week and we were out so went ahead and grabbed some more of that. This week I saw that these pizza singles were on a sale so I grabbed two boxes because I think that's all my freezer can hold. They come with six cheese and six pepperoni and these taste so good. In the air fryer you can put it in for like I think seven or nine minutes on 390 um, and it's perfect perfect every single time you just got to make sure that if your air fryer is already warmed up you do less time and if your air fryer wasn't warmed up you'll probably need the full nine minutes but these are so good try it out if you would like they're so good that I got two so that's a good sign that you should get it if you were thinking about getting it Next up, I found these Harvest Crunch cereal, which is really a granola. One of my daughters really, really loves this, and she loves to do yogurt parfait. So I went ahead and picked this up. I've been waiting on a sale, and this lasts us a pretty long time, and it's by Quaker. I tend to like Quaker oatmeal, so that's probably why I think that that tastes pretty good as well. Next up, I grabbed some wild Alaskan sockeye salmon. I've switched over to wild salmon because of all the things that I've learned and recently I learned that bassa is actually not a good fish to get which is really disappointing um, but anyways I went ahead and picked up some salmon this will do really good for dinners and I find that this package lasts for two meals for a family of four there's like enough in here where it's two meals for a family of four but what I like about it the most is that each one is individually sealed so if you are single or you just want to make one serving you can and I find that it also thaws out really quickly but if you're ever making salmon in the air fryer you can also make it straight from frozen and it cooks just the same just a little bit more time maybe like two or three more minutes so I like this um, I do have to warn you though that sockeye salmon is a little bit on the lean and dry side so if you're used to fatty salmon this is not going to be it <laughs> this is very lean and I highly recommend you serving this with some kind of sauce that way it's not so dry, but this is also perfect for like salmon cakes and stuff like that. It works really well for that. 
So if you're interested in checking that out, go ahead. It is pretty pricey, but wild salmon is definitely going to come at a cost to not have it farmed in the conditions that like Atlantic or farmed salmon <laughs> is in. So that's why I went ahead and grabbed that one. I also picked up some lamb spirici. You know, last summer I bought like maybe nine or ten boxes of these and it just finished right before spring started and it's back in Costco again. So it's time that I start getting it little by little. It is the best price compared to anywhere else like Fortino's I think has it for a couple dollars more. Metro has it for a few dollars more but Costco has it for the best price and at the end of the summer every year this gets marked down for like $20 25 dollars sometimes 30 dollars and that's when i stock up on it but it's grilling season had to get that my husband really likes it the most and this is just something quick and easy you serve it with some veggies and you're good to go so this is a great thing to have for the warmer weather months but all year long in our house definitely a hit when it comes to summertime and barbecues I also picked up some mini bella mushrooms. We love mushrooms and I usually do half the package at one time and then the other half I prep and put in my freezer for whenever I need it. And so that's my plan for these mushrooms this time is to use half now and save the other half for later in the freezer. I also got some green grapes. Apparently red grapes were not available on my shop. So went ahead and got these green ones. They do look really good. They're nice and firm the way that I like them to be and the color is really good too i don't like when they look like a little bit yellow looking i find that that's when it starts to go bad so went ahead and grab some grapes for the week if you notice i didn't get any apples this week because the apples have not been good recently and i'm not wasting any more money buying bad apples from costco i also picked up some baby bell cheese this was on sale and i really like it the kids like it too so that's a nice little treat for us. I tend to only like to get it when it's on sale though because otherwise it does get pretty pricey. I also picked up some cheese strings. So the last time I went to Costco, they didn't have the black diamond cheese string. They had the Armstrong, which is almost double the price. So I'm glad that the Costco I went to today had the black diamond because this is a much better deal and my kids like it. So that's all that matters with that. I also saw that cucumbers were a really good price, but then when I came home, I dropped it on the floor and look, it's all squishy and gross. So I'm probably going to have to use these for juicing because I don't think it's going to be that good otherwise. Or maybe I can cut half of it up, use the other half, and then juice just the halves that are squishy and gross. If you ever buy cucumbers, you should never be able to do that because um, that's a sign that they're not good. So I got to make sure that we use those up right away so that doesn't go to waste. And I also picked up some mini cucumbers. The price for this was really good as well. It was on sale. And these are not squishy. I also did not drop them, so that's probably why they're not squishy. Um, I think that this was totally a my fault thing, but I do like the mini cucumbers, and my kids like it too. Um, they tend to like it because there's less seeds in them and I just like it because it's much easier to prep for them. So these two things are great buys this week. If you like cucumbers, definitely head to Costco and pick up some cucumbers because the prices are actually really good. I also picked up some sour cream for the month. I'm hoping I can make some um, blueberry muffins and I know my blueberry muffin recipe has sour cream in it. So hopefully I can use up some of the sour cream for those muffins and I'll definitely be using it for tacos as well. I also picked up some asparagus. I've been craving this and I wanted to get it so I did. The asparagus at Costco is usually pretty good. I took, I think it was Christine. Christine, you shared that if I put paper towel in the bag, it'll last much longer. And you were absolutely right. So if anyone ever gets asparagus and you're wondering how to preserve it, put paper towel inside and I like to put it in my fridge drawer to keep it extra fresh and crisp and it works really well. I put one sheet of paper towel on this side, then I flip it over and put another sheet on the other side. So whatever moisture builds up in the bag, um, it catches it on the top and the bottom and we're safe. <laughs> so this is a good tip, Christine. Thank you for sharing. And now I can have asparagus for two weeks because it'll last that long with your advice. So thank you so much. And then the next item I got is some Kirkland Signature Olive Oil. This is a new product and I like the price, which is why I got it. It's olive oil from California and it's like $14.99. Had to get it. I've been looking for olive oil for a while, but I refuse to pay the ridiculous prices. 
Um, so I'm glad that this is actually on the affordable side. This huge one liter olive oil for $14.99. Yeah, definitely need to go get that if you're a fan of olive oil and it's extra virgin olive oil. You can use this for cooking and you can also use it for DIY hair mask. It's really good. So that's why I wanted to get it. I wanted to make some DIY um, hair mask. So I wanted to use some affordable olive oil to do that. And then the last and final thing I grabbed is more toilet paper. I feel like the package is getting smaller. I feel like the price is getting more. But this is the toilet paper that we get. And I'm honestly going to start considering getting other brands when they go on sale because I don't know, something just isn't adding up. And I really like this. It's super durable. They are thick rolls. They are like very great quality but the price and the amount it's a little bit off i wish i had a package from like a year ago because i feel like i had more toilet paper in those older packages um but i went ahead and grabbed more because you need that especially in a house with four people anyways this is everything i picked up this week shopping for my family of four at costco i hope you enjoyed this costco haul and you stay tuned for more there is a giveaway coming up soon because we just reached 15,000 subscribers for the giveaway you don't have to enter it all you have to do is continuously comment on my videos and i'm going to randomly select someone i know who has been watching for a while i also know who's been commenting for a while so stay tuned for the giveaway announcement and hopefully you'll get chosen as one of the winners. So if you haven't yet subscribed, please make sure that you do so. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I hope you leave a comment so you can be entered in future giveaways. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye guys.